Hi everyone, I'm Talia, and today I'm going to show you my new weekly spread layout. So my weekly spread is probably the most um, evolving spread I have going at this point. My monthlies, if they vary, it's very minor, and my dailies, same story. But when it comes to my weeklies, I'm still trying to find the perfect spread for me, so I tweaked it a little. So if you've seen me do my weekly spread in the past, um, you saw that it was just a one-page spread and then it leapt into the dailies. Um, so this one is a two-page spread. So this is my weekly spread for January 30th through February 5th. I start on the Monday, as I have mentioned in my other videos. Um, so I have this weekly spread, and this spread was done entirely with my um, Statlers. I even used the black pen for all the black lines, so that's what I used. So I just wanted to let you know that this layout was strictly done with colored pens. Okay, so my weekly spread used to look a lot, a lot like just this page. I have my um, read list of things I want to read that week, my watch list, things I want to watch on TV, Netflix, YouTube, etc. Um, my write list where I have um, projects that I'm working on because I do um, writing as my hobby and hopefully future career. Um, and then listen, so this has any um, audiobooks, podcasts, things of that nature. And then I have um, my goals here, um, my month and my weekly goal. I usually have my yearly goal, but after a month of writing my yearly goal down every week, it's in my head. I remember my, my yearly goal, so I don't really need to look at it. So I just broke it down just to those two, month and week. And I also usually had a little box for it to journal at the bottom and that was all I had on my weekly spread. But I kind of wanted to keep more in there. So I added a few extra things. Um, I entitled this one journal. Usually I write bullet journal, but I'm also trying to get into the habit of journaling a little more regularly. So I decided that I would just combine that. Anything I want to bullet journal or journal in here, I can just write right there. And then I added my waiting on. A lot of people have a waiting on on their weekly spreads and I've always thought that would be such a great idea and I never got around to doing it. So that was the first thing I added. The second one is activities and this is um, mostly kid and family activities that I have in the back of my mind or things that are already planned so that if we get a moment, you know, on the weekend, in the morning, like, what do you guys want to do today? I can refer to that. And then I have this little box for next week. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it because mostly if I think of something I need to do, I would put it in my task list or I would put it on my monthly calendar. So I was gonna, I just put this box in here and it's not very big as you can see. To give it a try, if there's anything I think about that I need to add for next week, I can put it there. But I'm not sure how much that's gonna be. Um, reflections, I wanted to give a little chance to reflect on the week. Um, and I figured I could write a tiny little paragraph right here or do a couple bullets if I wanted to reflect on. And I'm not sure even what I'm gonna reflect on in here. Am I gonna reflect on um, what I did that day, or am I just reflecting on strictly bullet journal stuff? I'm not sure, but I thought it was a good idea to just put it in there, chest it out maybe for the month, and see how it goes. And if I like it, I can keep it. And if I don't use it, or I don't think it's very effective, I can always get rid of it, because as everyone knows, the next page is blank. And that's the beauty of the bullet journal. I can start over. I don't have to have that every month if I don't want it. And finally, I have a little page for notes in case there's something extra because maybe I'll think of something else that would have been nice to have on here or maybe there's something that's something bonus that I want to keep track of. Now with this new weekly spread, my goal was to have a sort of command center for me to keep all of my ideas because I have small kids right now and 
If you don't have small kids, I know it's kind of hard to understand, like, why do you need to write down what books you want to read and what you want to watch, but I swear to you, it'll fry your brain so fast. I need my own list for getting into the car. So since my brain is usually working on that, this is just to keep everything that I might want to do that week on one page. So if I catch a moment, then I can do that. Okay, so that was my weekly spread for the first week of February, and I'm really excited to try it. And I'd love to know what kind of things you guys track in a weekly spread, because I'm not used to a two-page spread, so I do have room and I can make these smaller or bigger accordingly. So what kind of things do you like to track on a weekly spread? Also, I'm going to try to include in this post a poll, and if I was successful, then you are hearing this and seeing the poll appear abo above you. Um, I was thinking about switching my posts from Thursday to Friday, and I want to know what you, my lovely subscribers and viewers, think. So if you think that you want me to post on Thursdays because you like having it on Thursday so that it's already ready, Friday morning, then go ahead and click Thursday. Or if you say, hey, a lot of people post on Fridays and that's when my time is, so why don't you just post it then and I can binge watch my favorite bullet journal videos, then go ahead and click Friday. I gotta say thank you all so much for watching my videos. I love having you guys watch my videos and I'm hoping that they're helping you become more productive, more organized, because that is the goal of the bullet journal. It's also very therapeutic for me, but I mostly do it to stay organized and have a place for my brain to be stored. So if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below because I love responding to you guys. And thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.